Well, good morning. It's Sunday, the 29th of July, and it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. I had some lovely presents of Sandy, uh, Amy, the daughter, and Matt are coming down later on, but it's been a very, very varied week. Um, Car Fest, that festival that I was telling you about, is on this weekend, and the campsite is chocolate. Yes, this is the back field that uh, we walked Chippendale on. Um, there's a lot more camper vans, etc., on this field, but uh, obviously they have gone to the festival, so it looks a lot quieter than it actually was. And the same here on the field where we are. A lot of cars had gone. In fact, though, a lot of them did have minibuses to go to the festival. A very good crowd, though. All in all, not too bad. It was just very, very busy. And here's our little land boat tucked away in the corner. Yes, so it does. You see, little chip there making an appearance. Um, it does make it awkward for Sandy and I, actually, because there's only two showers uh, here. Um, I know that the owners of the manor have offered us to, to have a room uh, whenever it's busy. But unfortunately, they're fully booked as well in the B&B. So... We just have to get in when we can. We do wait for them to go to the festivals and then uh, we can go and have our showers, etc. But it is extremely busy. Um, obviously, Car Fest is done for uh, children in need. Um, and Chris Evans uh, started it. Very successful. Uh, thousands of people go. Um, and a little car popped up last night on the car park in the manor. Yes, and there's Pudsey, the symbol of children in need. And this car, in fact, was owned by a couple that were doing driving experiences at the festival. It seems that they own a driving school. So, good on you. So, yes, 53 today. I know I don't look it. I look 65. But, uh, yes, I've had a, a, a rough life. But, yeah, I had some lovely presents of Sandy this morning. Um, Multi-purpose screwdriver. Always handy, especially when you live on a boat. And this strange contraption, it's an angle mirror. You can angle it and it's also telescopic. And what it's for is if there's trouble on the boat and it's, it's hard for me to see behind the engine or something, um, I can use this and it's actually got lights on it as well. So quite a dinky idea. I don't know whether I'll be using it or not, um, but I'll probably eat my words because I did uh, take the mick a little bit, but uh, I bet you're any money in the first week that we're on Chuggabug. I'll be using that. Had some lovely presents. A year's subscription to Canal Boat magazine. I have actually uh, had a quick look through this. Looks very informative. Good magazine. So I'm looking forward to getting my teeth into that and having a good read of it. Actually saw a nice advert for Beta Marine Engine as well, which is what we're having on Chuggabug. So that's good. Um, goes without saying. And... What is the most fantastic present? I've been searching for some time for a certain thing and I haven't been able to find it for ages. As you know, obviously we're going to be living on a boat. A Chihuahua Tilipin. I've been searching for a Chihuahua Tilipin since we said we were going to have uh, the boat. And Dale, come here. Look how much it looks like Dale. He won't come. Come here. Come on, boy. There he is. Ooh, there you are. Come see one. There he is. See? Dale. There he is. Good boy. Good boy. Go on. Go back to sleep now. Sorry, mate. But isn't that wonderful? What a lovely present. Uh, she's had it specially made by a gentleman on a boat. Uh, has actually made that. He makes things to order. So very, very special. Very pleased with that. Um, lots of sweeties. Little bits and bobs. Very nice. And Amy and Matt have just been as well. They've just left. And they got me. My favourite single malt. This is telling you something about me, isn't it? And I also had a knife. Obviously not for playing around. It's just to have on the boat in case we need to cut ropes in an emergency, etc. So always handy to have. So very pleased. Thank you very much, everyone, for the presence. Yeah, we were sitting there and a gentleman came to the caravan. And it was a subscriber. Very nice to see you. Steve and Linda. They came to say hello. Um, they were on the way back to their boat. We are going to be neighbours. And, of course, we're going to be friends because we're going to get to know them and hopefully meet up with them next weekend sometime. So give them my number. Hopefully I'll hear off you soon and hello to you. Um, that's about it for this week, apart from the small thing. 
that I actually handed my notice in in work um, on Thursday. Um, lovely people enjoyed the job, but the job wasn't for me. Enough said of that. So at the moment I'm helping out in a local tourist attraction and enjoying it very much. No stress, no stress whatsoever and no emails, which is always a bonus. So let's see what this week brings. Unfortunately, we didn't go down to Stoke today because Chuggabug isn't in the fit out shed. Unfortunately, a gentleman left. Um, so the demand down at the moment, but it will be in hopefully for next weekend. So hopefully by the time you see this, by the end of the vlog, hopefully we'll see Chuggabug in the fit out shed and hopefully have a bit more news for you. Let's see what this week brings. It'll bring something. It always does when you're living in a caravan in a field. Let's see what happens. Well, yes, it's the Tuesday following my birthday. Um, yeah, just looking through Facebook, having a look, and I'm just thinking it'd be nice to set up a, a Facebook account. So that's what I've done. So if you look below, and if I've managed to do it, there's a link to a Facebook page and I can put random pictures on and, uh, and just things through the week and keep in contact with everyone. It'd be good to put a face to a lot of the names. So let's hope I've managed to do that. So please have a look at the link below. And I also noticed on Facebook that there's a lot of stoppages, loads of stoppages. If you can see them there, just take care and I hope you manage to navigate the waters okay. It doesn't look uh, too much fun at the moment. Obviously we need a bit of rain. Obviously enjoying the sunshine. These waterways need rain, now reservoirs are drying up. Um, and another thing, field is completely empty. Just see Dale and Chip, Chip and Dale, running around the field. Everyone's gone. Uh, the car festers have all gone home and left us on our own. And we love it. They've all gone home. Got to say though, there weren't any trouble. We had no trouble whatsoever from them. Really good crowd. Um, just glad they enjoyed themselves. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't too clever for them. Anyway, it's about 10 o'clock, five past 10. Sandy's had to go to the hospital to uh, go to an appointment with the dad. And I've been left home alone because I'm off today. So I've just done the ironing and now I've got to make soup. Yeah, so made the soup. We like soup. We make lots of soup. But now, the blender. When I first started making soup, I did make a bad mistake. Sandy laughed. My daughter laughed. Everyone laughed. I blended the soup while the gas was still on. And the end of the blender just melted to a blob. So I've learned by my mistake. So I've turned the soup off. And now we're going to blend. So I'm very pleased to say that the leek and potato soup is a success. It's absolutely gorgeous. So uh, I think Sandy can have some of that when she gets back from the hospital. I'm sure Chip and Dale will enjoy a little bit of something. Hello, Dale. 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 Don't be rude. Hello. 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 Yes. Hey, Chip's there. He's a good boy. So let's just enjoy a couple of minutes of canal time on the Shroppy.
Come on, boys. Well, it's Thursday, 2nd of August. It's about 10 minutes to 12, midday. Do apologise for the wobbly camera, but even though they're chihuahuas, they do pull. Good news, bad news, and some very good news. Let's start with the good news. This morning, I actually heard of Andy and uh, can lift boats, and apparently, Chuggabug is definitely, and those were his words, come on boys, definitely going in the fit out shed next week. I know we've heard it, but we've never heard the word definitely. So I'm quite excited. He said definitely. The boat that's in there at the moment, maybe tomorrow is what it's called, um, was expected to come out for this weekend. Well, today, to be honest. But it would have mean him going to Swanley Marina to carry on with bits and bobs for at least three or four days. Which obviously meant that, okay, Chuggabug would be in the fit-out shed, but no work would be get, on it, get done on it, really. So, uh, in a way, it's good news, I suppose. So Chuggabug will definitely be in the fit-out shed next weekend. Bad news? I think I'm working next weekend. But we'll see. Now, the very, very good news. These boys are a murder to walk. The very, very good news. Right. Over the past 16 months, Andy and I have had quite a rough trot, as I'm sure those that have followed from the beginning would know. Um, we've had a lot taken from us. Um, I was told that I was going to have my sight taken from me, which is a biggie. My sight has been deteriorating ever since. Um, I will be going back to the hospital before too long for more tests. Um, we sold our house because we couldn't guarantee me being in work. And obviously we need to pay the mortgage. Um, we've lost our little girt. We lost a little bit of pride. We've lost a lot. But the one thing that I was dreading was not seeing, if I'm blessed enough, was not seeing my grandchild be born. Well, it turns out I'm going to see that. Yep, sorry, just had to compose myself a bit. Turns out I'm going to see that. I am going to see our grandson. Turns out that Amy and Matt are expecting, well, obviously Amy is expecting, a little boy in mid-November. So needless to say, we are very, very happy. So yes, we've had bad news. We've had trials, we've had things go wrong, but this sort of puts everything into perspective in the grand scheme of things. Sort of cheered us up a bit. Well, cheered us up quite a lot. Uh, we found out about five, six weeks ago. Um, we think they were gonna have difficulty, but as it turns out, they went for tests and Amy was already pregnant. In fact, she was nearly four and a half months pregnant. So, yeah, that's the news. Um, I'm hoping I can get down to Stoke, or we can get down to Stoke next weekend. But obviously, if I'm working now at this tourist attraction, obviously, I've got to get the pennies in. So I will be working. But we will um, get pictures off Andy, and we will be posting, because I know a lot of you are followed. And I know a lot of you want to see Chuggabug, believe you, me, not half as much as Sandy and I want to see Chuggabug. So there we are. I've just walked past the marina, just further back there, the marina. And this here, behind me, is the Shropshire Union Canal. This is going to be our highway. When we're on the water, just going that way is towards Northwich. And then going that way is towards Chester. I'm going to start walking back that way now because that's the way we need to go. I'm so sorry that um, we can't bring you news on the fit out. 
I can't bring a new the fit out if it isn't getting fitted out. But he said definitely chugger bugs going in next week. So hopefully then Andy can send her lots of pictures and perhaps little films uh, just to show any progress and then I can pass them on to you. So there we are, up to date. Sandy and I are going to be grandparents. Pretty good news, eh? Catch you next time.